welcome. Uh, obviously, you can see we're we're um, hard into it, uh, repairing the track from the uh, two weeks of wet weather racing we had here, which ripped the track up a couple of weeks quite quite badly. Not an ideal racing surface. Uh, just the wet weather in the in the winter got into the track down the south end, and a bit and a little bit up in the northern end, and. Uh, just never dried out and with the clay tracks it just goes all clumpy and um, won't dry out. It hasn't been hot enough in the manner or two to dry out naturally. So we've uh, called in all resources this week uh, to um, open the track up, rotary hoe it up, dry it all out and then uh, put it back down again so it's ready to race on Saturday night with uh, no holes in it. So um, big operation, big job, thanks to Higgins, Highways. Uh, Robbie Anderson and all of the boys that help do this uh, exercise. It's been a bit of uh, work to get everything together to get uh, the machinery here to, to um, be able to do this. So um, also just over in the foreground there is two of the people that help us out with the track. Uh, Robbie Anderson obviously in the high vis there and Dennis Todd. He's our scientific man which gives us the heads up on the moisture content and the race service and, and is... Uh, valuable asset to um, putting the track down and getting it to stay down good so Dennis has um, been around for years and years doing the track here and uh, it's great value to the speedway here. Yeah the, the machine we're using it's a Virgin um, stabilising um, or hoe I suppose you'd call it uh, probably worth eight hundred, nine hundred thousand dollars dollars uh, it doesn't belong to Palmas North it's been brought down from Napier for the job um, and um, it's basically just a big rotary hoe. I mean, you can hoe anything with it. It'll hoe concrete. Does a good job on topsoil. Does a real good job on the track. We were down at the southern bend uh, of the track, which was the worst part of the track for the first two nights. And we've, it's obviously been rotary hoed up, you can see, and we've just put some uh, hydrated lime, just a very minimal amount of hydrated lime here, just to get the final bit of moisture out of it as we rotary hoe it up for the final time and then the track will be laid down for uh, Saturday nights. As I say again, thanks to Higgins, Highways, Robbie Anderson, etc. for uh, all their input into getting this so we can make the track ready to race this Saturday night again and back to how it should be.